also just wanted to give a shout out to all of the team members that were instrumental in our back to school season. So um, we had uh, Miss Erica, Mr. Waters, Mr. Daniel, primarily at this location, and Mr. Brandon was involved in some of that. Mr. D'Angelo, Mr. Grayson was also involved at different points in time. Um, I actually have two for uh, Miss uh, Corley and Miss Cameron um, working on those new processes for the strike testing procedures, making it simplified. Um, Thursday was definitely a big day, but Miss Corley was able to come in the last like, hour or hour and a half to kind of help awesome. um, facilitate and make sure I was getting it right yeah. so we could all go home at a decent time. So that was really cool. You see, when we have an attitude of gratitude, it's infectious. It catches on. Thursday is strike testing. Uh, she really helped help the kids keep them distracted with one kid decided to throw up after the strike test. <laughs> oh, this is at West. This is at West. Wonderful. Because we're getting ready to bow out and I hear it hit the mat. So <laughs> <laughs> instead of group picture, it was selfie over by the strike testing table. And while she took care of it, she didn't, like, she didn't complain or anything like that. She had a smile. No one knew except for the kid's dad, the kid, and maybe the parents that were sitting behind him where he was standing. Aww, the, man. The kids had no idea. But That's she did, awesome. She did an awesome job getting that cleaned up. and not Wait, Mr. Grayson, because he is very quick thinking <laughs> as far as taking that selfie. But I was there at West on Friday and Saturday. And I want to say that he is a dynamic leader. He had everything planned. He's quick. He's really funny. The parents loved him, and um, he just did a really amazing job, and I just, I really wanted to give him a huge shout out. Being thankful is when you see an action, an action has been done to you by someone else, or maybe not even by someone else. Like, you could be thankful for the fact that you live in the United States, that you're here in a country where you can express yourself freely. But gratitude and the state of being grateful is an outlook on your life. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. We started off the day with some team meetings, which I'm sure you guys saw, um, and then just jumped right into problem solving right away, getting everything set and ready to go. Ms. Erica is transitioning into her new role here, uh, marketing director, um, out of the sales side of things and more into the branding side of things. So that means we're trying to make sure that everything's in place for the evening time. So a lot of just checking in, last minute checks. And then our main source of getting things done um, due to user error on my part, uh, apparently uh, blacked out all of our um, task lists that we're, our team members were working off of. Um, so there's a little bit of a freak out moment. So got on tech support and fixed that. Yeah, and fixed a couple of other things. So today has been primarily about starting fires and putting fires out. <laughs> so um, got with you, Miss Missy, about all the stuff that we need to work on, edit, got some good direction there. And I'm excited about this week. We're, this is gonna be like the last hard week of training. Um, so I'm going to be doing some more training tomorrow night. Going to be shifting from morning training to evening training because my fight is probably going to be between 9, 10 o'clock at night, something like that. So got to get my body shifted to be able to be awake all day and then go perform at, at peak levels. So we'll be starting to do more of that. And a um, little bit sore from Labor Day training yesterday because I didn't take a day off from training. I went and trained hard. But I'm excited about the rest of the week and how it's shaping up and can't wait to show you more about what's happening. Some of, I hear sometimes us saying, well, I can't because. Well, take that because and hit it with a two by four. <laughs> and just do it. I can't because, what, I don't know where to go. Google it. Or, unless you're trying to do something brand new, no one else in the world has done it. Guess what they have done? They've done something similar. And now you are, if you're that kind of smart, man, you're going to build off of the top of what they've already done. So basically what I did is I took the 2x4 and I gave it to every one of y'all. And now it's your choice either to stand with a 2x4 in your hand and get splinters and just say, no, I can't because. Or you can beat that because down and then you can figure out how to do it.
Does anybody remember me talking about reinvesting in yourself and educating yourself so you become a more valuable team member outside of your field? So you do this, but what if you learn this? How much more valuable as a team member would you become? A lot. So here's the deal. Relationships that you build now and how you treat people now count for what you want later. Sometimes we walk past team members. Do you realize, do you, do you realize that not everybody will be here in 10 years, but do you realize that the person that you know now, 10 years from now, could help propel you forward? But if you treat them like dirt, and you message them, hey, you remember me? We used to work together at SKC. I really, really am looking forward to doing blah, blah, blah. Do you think you want to help? The person's going to be like, uh-uh, that person was a jerk to me. Same thing with your school relationships. Same thing with your friendships. Be grateful and let it rub off on other people. right here is all about um, getting people to start thinking what they're grateful for instead of things that they don't have and we'll tie this in just a little bit because these are from August. Yeah. We're going to do the September ones in our next meeting, but these are from August since we couldn't do that. Miss Missy's been with us for three months. Congratulations, Woo! man. How's it feel? You got, that's what a belt feels like. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> as close as I'll ever get. <laughs> all right, these guys are all uh, making the one-year mark with us. Let's give it up for Mr. Josh, Mr. Jeremy. Come on up. Let's go. 18 months here, wow. Um, definitely longer involved in martial arts, but 18 months as a team member. Miss Callie, come on up. <laughs> These guys have all been, <clears throat> been here for 24 months as team members. Wow, that's awesome. Let's give it up for Mr. Seth, Miss Alana, and Mr. Will. <laughs> Oh, 30 months as a team member. Getting up there, let's give it up for Mr. Daniel. <laughs> Five years. I'm very excited particularly about this team member because he has just started the assistant manager and training program for SKC <laughs> Martinez location. Let's give it up for Mr. Daniel. What is it that we can take, that we can break down, that we can get out there so that when I walk up to somebody and I say, hey, I'm Jennifer Waters, I'm from Seagler's Karate Center, they're not like, 
you're from a karate school what do you want and why are you like that instead yeah. that I've got a little bit of respect because they're like oh you're that person don't you guys have that business that's you know like it's about respect but it's also about people understanding that this is a small business but it's a growing small business because we're not going to go to a big, huge brand like, you know, uh, use Nike and Adidas and, and Vans. We're not going to go to them and say, hey, you want to work a deal with us? Like, make us sparring gear for our people out here on the mat? Like, they're going to laugh in our face. What do we have to give them? But if we can connect with small businesses in Augusta, Georgia, and we can say, hey, what, what if we did a back-to-school uh, convention? At the beginning, what if we were the hosts of the back to school convention? What if we teamed up with University Hospital and school suppliers and Office Max and all these places here and we got local businesses involved? That would be cool. Hey guys, wrapping up the day. Uh, what day is it? Is it Thursday? Yes. It's Thursday. Okay, so we're wrapping up Thursday here at the Karate Center. Things are just getting started here. It's been a not so great day for me because um, one of my main tools, my laptop, is not working the way that it should. So I'm off to the Genius Bar at Apple. So Apple, do me right. Fix my computer. And the rest of it here is just off to a, a good start. We got people getting ready for classes, attendance cards over here, people behind the desk. Are you guys learning today? Are you learning today? He's learning. He's in training today. Mr. Jeremy, say hi to the vlog. There we go. <laughs> Tell them why you have to say hi. It's because one of the days that Miss Jennifer did, when she came in, I didn't say hi. I just waved and she walked by. And then she came back and it blew up. And then it blew up. It blew up. So now he says hello every time and he even says hello to you guys. I'll check with y'all soon. See ya.